Howdy folks, it's a uh, MakeyBox pre-production update here. Uh, this is pre-production 00. The first box that has come together with injection molded parts. So what you see here is the collection of uh, injection molded parts that it would take to put one together. So this is this comes off together in one piece, uh, connected with that. Um, you've got all these POM parts in one go. Uh, taking all the ABS. Now, keep in mind these are pre-production, so the uh, the colors are not actually like at all something that we chose or anything like that. These are just whatever, typically, uh, first shot parts are gonna be just whatever they happen to have lying around. So we've got all the ABS parts. Uh, these brown ones are all the ABS parts that we're doing for a set. You've got these, this is the back panel. Side panel. So this is what supports the Z-axis and the base. Uh, you can see that the finish is, especially on this side, you can see it's uh, kind of a matte right now. That gets polished out uh, in the next stage. And we'll be applying our logo and things and other tool markings to it. So that's kind of what happens uh, in the whole process. Alrighty, so let's move on to the pre-production unit itself. So, uh, you can see it looks like a Makey box. Well, big surprise, right? Um, so the, the drive blocks now are the two-piece. So you can see right here, it's a little bit hot light-wise in here, but yeah, you can just see the, so basically those little fins right there, those are flexible. Uh, so that's basically the anti-backlash. So when we, when you run your, uh, basically when you, when you run the screw into it, when it engages this fixed set of screws, it's always going to basically they're offset uh, from here to here. They're offset by half a millimeter. So until all this material wears out by half a millimeter, they're always going to be very tight. And that's exactly what we're seeing: is that the um, the drive itself is nice and and tight as soon as you put it in. Um, let's see, the production hot end uh, assembly is pretty similar to what we're, what we've been doing. Uh, the main difference is basically we've just kind of rearranged things. Uh, it should take out some more of the play that some of the beta ones had. Um, so the, one of the major things, one of the major differences for this assembly is the Z axis assembly is a lot simpler. Um, there's holes for like screwing stuff together, or tightening things up if you need, uh, some changes that we're going to have in the tooling. Uh, so basically what the next stage is, is. I'll go back to the tooling factory and say, okay, we need to change X, Y, and Z. So like basically modify some clearances. So tightening up, uh, basically there's a little bit of play that will allow this to, to wiggle, uh, that we can take out. Uh, there's, we need to tighten up, uh, between the drive rod and this guy a little bit. There's a few minor 
uh, little features we're going to do here are some pegs going up into the sides to basically, uh, with any longer span, if you can support it in the middle, it'll keep it from uh, flexing. So uh, basically we're going to do uh, some small tabs that basically will completely prevent it from being able to bow. Um, what else? Wire routing is quite easy. I don't have the power uh, fitted to this yet. The, oh, well you see the, uh, the two bosses there for the Raspberry Pi and then you've got the routing channel going through there for wires um yeah the printer board bo uh printer board bosses fit right in and ah so this is the uh the awesome part about the production design spool and now with this full spool you have to be a little bit careful but that's it right there so probably what you'll need to do if you've got to spool this full uh, you just unspool a little bit off the, the beginning or you shift it over and that's it works like a charm changes that are needed. Uh, just basically just looking at doing clearances on, well, and also for the z-axis there's a lot of play right now uh, between the supports and the, well, so basically the top end of the bearing rods are a little bit too open and then we're going to do some stuff to tighten up this to keep it from moving. Other than that, it should be pretty solid. The uh, the supports, basically where the screws go in, are a lot better than the original beta. So that's pretty awesome. Um, I think everybody's extremely happy with how this has turned out. And then, okay, so um, so this is beta two, and it's uh, Mickey Box LT. Guys, uh, in terms, well, of course, the LT doesn't uh, get the black panels, but this is our test, basically a test bed for the LT. Um, it's polycarbonate and seems to work pretty well. So these are examples of PLA, looking pretty sweet. So good tolerances and everything, good finish. Nice little ring. Let's see. This was actually the first test print on the PLA uh, that we did on the polycarbonate bed. So it's a little the E steps on this are a little bit excessive, so but not too bad for a small figure. And then, let's see. It's another small figure in ABS that we did recently. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. And then, another one. So these are kind of little game piece prints. It turns out pretty well. I think um, what we're seeing is probably for really amazing prints, you're going to need a either a fan or uh, 
probably to look at controlling the temperature of the bed very carefully uh, for the first ones. Some more small figures in ABS and Army Green. There's a little bit more uh, dodginess to those. Those are kind of really a uh, castle that has a whole bunch of little details that you could probably get a um, significantly better output if we uh, kept on modifying the slicing settings for that. Uh, just a random, uh, another geometric base in blue. Uh, another set of gears uh, in green, just because it's a little bit easier to see the detail. That. Um, now, here's an interesting thing. This is a Yoda done at 50 microns, so half of the uh, layer height typically. This is done hollow, so there's basically there's some holes. Uh, the lighting's kind of crappy for showing it. There we go. There's some holes around both this part of the neck and the head that didn't come out because there's absolutely no support inside. But if you want to see what 50 micron layers look like, there you go. So it's, it's extremely smooth uh, as far as the surface appearance. This is the same model uh, done without, again, without any supports to the head and there's some holes in the shoulders, but um, you can see this is in 0.1 millimeter layer height. So uh, So you can see the 0 0.05 millimeter is definitely a little bit smoother, but pretty nominal. Um, here's a, a crown. Unfortunately, this print didn't finish. We left it going overnight, and the uh, is a full spool, and it got caught, uh, so it didn't finish out. But you can see the the yellow. Our yellow is uh, like it's good and solid as far as the lamination and everything. We haven't had any problems with that. Um, I know this is a little childish, but uh, fake poo uh, that we did with the uh, coffee brown. And yeah, so that's, that's pretty much it for uh, this stuff. So yeah, polycarbonate bed um, for the yeah poly polycarbonate bed for the LT seems to be coming along as far as that is workable so we're pretty happy with how that works like no tape or anything um, doesn't melt it does you do get residue from where the last print was that you did but you could probably uh, we can probably figure out how to clean that off in between prints if we needed to. And yeah, so next steps, um, we'll do some updates for the tooling, and so probably within about one and a half, two weeks, so basically by the end of June, uh, we should have full production start, so that's pretty cool. Alrighty, so that's it for today. Catch you all later. Bye.